Welcome back to my ProMaster camper van build series. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the electrical system that I designed and installed in my ProMaster camper van. I hope you find this video useful. Here is a diagram of my electrical system for future reference if you decide to go with the design that I have. And I'm going to now go into the actual components of the build and I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to uh, send me a brief question below and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you. All right, so here we go. Here's kind of the walkthrough. So for the time being, let's just ignore the load side here and just walk through um, the other side of the component. So I don't have it set up yet, but we're gonna have solar panel wires coming down into here. Um, this is gonna be the circuit breaker for the solar panel. So you're gonna have the positive wire from the solar panels coming into this circuit break it, breaker. It's going to go through the circuit breaker. It's going to follow this wire all the way over until the positive lead on the solar charge controller. The negative wire from solar is just going to go right there to the negative lead. So that will provide the positive and negative power to the solar charge controller from the solar panels. Once the charge controller gets all the juice in from the solar panels, regulates the electricity, it's going to go out through this negative lead right here. I'm sorry, this positive lead right here. And the positive is just going to follow straight over and it's going to go to a circuit breaker, breaker right here so I can disconnect power um, from the solar charge controller. And then this goes to the positive bus bar right here. So basically, again, you've got positive coming out of the solar charge controller, going over to a circuit breaker, then it's gonna come over to this positive bus bar right here. Okay, so basically you've got power coming from the solar and then from this bus bar, you've got a wire going to this battery disconnect, which you can switch the power on and off to the batteries. Then this goes down to a, sorry about the video there, thermal circuit breaker right here. So this is the thermal fuse, 200 amps. So the power's coming out of the switch into the thermal circuit breaker and then the thermal thermal circuit breaker connects to the batteries so that's the whole positive side of the equation and you'll see here these are connected in parallel so we do have a parallel battery configuration so that's the positive side of it so let's just go ahead and trace the negative side as well so you've got the batteries in parallel um, again we're going to have um, the negative lead coming off of the battery side here. This goes to the batteries. So you follow the negative. The negative comes all the way over to this bus bar. This bus bar then connects back to the battery. So that's the negative side. Now as far as the um, load side, there's my circuit breaker. And if you notice at the top here, here's the negative lead for the circuit breaker. And that follow that all the way over and it hooks back into the bus bar. So the bus bar is the common point for all the negative. Come back over here to the load side. This is the positive wire. And the positive wire follows all the way down here. And I've got that connected to another circuit breaker so we can disconnect power to the load side. And then the load side comes all the way over. And guess what? Connects into the positive bus bar. So basically, there's only one connection um, for the whole battery for the positive side, and that's one lead coming from the bus bar over to the battery. Every other positive lead and negative lead connects to the bus bar. So it just kind of simplifies the wiring and makes everything kind of clean. That's how I have it set up. Um, it's actually fairly clean and fairly simple. It seems complicated, but it really isn't. And um, I'm gonna put some still pictures up and then put some diagrams so you guys can kind of see, um, follow the wiring along and also put up a PDF diagram so you guys can 
download that if you'd like and use it for your own electrical system. But anyways, that's the, that's the power side of the electrical system. And of course, um, this is my circuit breaker right here. So um, the fuse box, all of the uh, loads coming in from the, the lights, the sink, the fan, the refrigerator all get wired um, positive down here with the fuse, negative up here, uh, the negative side of the load right here. And then they all have uh, the appropriate size fuses for the wire that we have running to those particular appliances.